Hey everyone and welcome to a new config tutorial. Today we will take a closer look at the most recent Rainbow Six Siege changes. I will also show you the differences between the new STs versus the old ones and which one you should maybe use from now on. The most optimal zoom levels for both aiming mechanics as well as a new classic and updated config will of course also be part of this video. So let's start with the first and most important step, the changes. Traditionally most Rainbow Six Siege players have used the classic aiming mechanic, but since a new Shadow Legacy update with its new scoping mechanic is out, a lot of classic players have noticed some inconsistencies in their mouse behavior. Now the reason for that is the following. On PlayStation only the classic ADS translator has received an update, while the hip translator is still the same as before. And this can cause muscle memory issues. Imagine running around in the hip mode and everything feels how it has been in the past few months, but once you are in the ADS mode you experience a new mechanic while your brain expects the old aiming behavior. And due to the addition of different in-game zoom levels this can then feel like dragging your crosshair through the mud since the whole aiming experience feels slightly different. Now you can of course try to adapt to the new mechanic and use the most optimal zoom values or you take a look at the updated changes. The updated mechanic is a clear winner of the Shadow Legacy change. Both Xbox and PlayStation have received a new ADS translator and that translator now also supports the new micro movement optimization. Because of that the new updated mechanic is in my opinion now on par if not better than the classic mode. Previously the updated mode only had very specific use cases such as a run and gun playstyle. It didn't perform particularly well on range and overall just wasn't as good as the classic mode. But thanks to the two new STs the updated mechanic is now several times better and pretty much has no more downsides. So what I would recommend you is to switch from classic to updated in case you struggle with ADS aiming in the new classic mechanic. Alternatively try my zoom level optimization tips as these will also fix your ADS issues. Now in the following video I will show you how to set up both sim configs, the updated and classic one. But first let's take a look at the necessary preparation steps. Head into the global settings of your sim manager. Your polling rate should be set to 500 Hz. If you cannot see that option then tick the expert mode box at the very top. Rainbow Six Siege has no aim assist so you want to reduce any potential source of mouse stutter. And given that most mice perform pretty bad on 1000Hz, I would recommend you to set your XIM to 500Hz. Now press the save button in the bottom right and restart your XIM Apex, otherwise your polling rate changes will not become active. Next let's take care of the in-game settings. Click on the wrench button in the bottom right of your config picture. Continue by pressing the yes button and you will be forwarded to the XIM forum. At the top you can find the in-game settings for classic and at the bottom for updated. Their main difference is the ADS sensitivity and magnification level. So make sure that you use the correct in-game settings here. Also do not use the advanced zoom options. Instead use the standard ADS sensitivity option. For classic it's 75 and for updated it's 50. By using customized magnification values you will inevitably run into ADS aiming issues. It's one of the main reasons why Rainbow Six Siege players have problems to adapt to the new ADS classic mode. They basically use the wrong values and experience ADS problems. At the end of the video I will show you how to adjust your scope sensitivities via Yuxim which is much better than using the in-game settings. Now let's switch over to the Xim manager. In the middle I will show you the updated config and on the right side what you want to use for the classic mode. It's up to you what you want to use but I prefer the new updated one. Now as always my config color is set to yellow and my hotkey is the F1 key. That way I can load my Rainbow Six Siege config whenever I want to by pressing the F1 key on my keyboard. As a confirmation my sim will then show a yellow LED light. Now let's swipe one more time to the right to enter the hip menu. First you should adjust your synchronization settings. In my opinion sync default works best for classic and updated. It's a great trade off between responsive but smooth mouse movements. After that adjust your hip sensitivity. For updated I will use a sensitivity of 45 with a mouse dpi value of 3200. In my opinion a DPI value of 3000 to 4000 is ideal for Rainbow Six Siege. 
and for classic my preferred sensitivity is 50. Also if you are unsure what sensitivity you should use then you can watch my sensitivity tutorial to find your most optimal mouse sensitivity. You can find a link to it in the video description. Boost and steady aim will not be necessary for classic and updated so keep them at zero. The same goes for SAB. Rainbow Six Siege has no aim assist so there's basically no need for any of these features. What we will use however is a walking percentage. To slowly walk in the game I'm using the left shift key. By changing the walking percentage you can now adjust your movement speed while walking. I prefer a percentage of 70 for classic and updated. Now scroll down until you can see the button bindings. Here you can either copy my button layout that you can see right now or you go with your own one. At the very bottom of your button bindings you can find the option to switch to the secondary button bindings. There you can bind every controller action a second time. I'm using it to for example double bind one of my leaning buttons. Now swipe one more time to the right to enter the ADS configuration. Just like before adjust your XIM synchronization first. I recommend to use the same synchronization as in your hip config to maintain the same mouse feeling. So I will go with sync default again for classic and updated. After that adjust your aim down sight sensitivity. My preferred aim down sight sensitivity for updated is 34 and for classic it's 37.50. Just like in your hip config I don't recommend to use boost, steady aim or SAB for the aim down sight settings. At the very top you can now untick the inherit box. By scrolling down to the movement area again you can now customize your walking percentage. You can of course use the same value as in your hip config but personally I prefer a slightly slower speed when walking in the ADS mode. Therefore I will go with 55 here for classic and updated. Now let's take care of the different zoom sensitivities. As I said in the beginning we will now handle the different scope multipliers via your XIM settings. That way we don't experience any mouse acceleration or other unwanted behavior that will ruin our ADS experience. Start by swiping back to the first screen of your XIM config. Expand the advanced settings and click on the copy button. Next you have to create a new Rainbow Six Siege config. Now while I do that I will quickly explain you the concept. I will use my main config for regular one time scopes such as the red dot or holographic sites. And for two time scopes I will use my new Rainbow Six Siege config. Once the config has loaded click on the edit button and open the advanced settings in the first screen again. When I now press on the paste button my new config is now identical to my first one. Next I will assign my F2 key to the hotkey option. And by swiping two times to the right I can now adjust my new scope sensitivity. For two time scopes I prefer an ADS sensitivity of 42 and for three time scopes I prefer 50. Now you can of course create another Rainbow Six Siege config for three time scopes and assign the F3 key to it. By pressing the different hotkeys you can then switch between your new Rainbow Six Siege configs. This may be complicated but it's the only way to have a perfect ADS experience. Also it's actually quite easy to memorize since F1 refers to normal scopes, F2 to all 2 time scopes and F3 to the 3 time scopes. Since the video is already quite long I will not go over any additional tricks anymore. Instead I will just refer to my anti-recall video for Rainbow Six Siege or my tutorial on how to lean much faster and more consistent. You can find both videos on my YouTube channel and they perfectly fit into my classic or updated config. Guys if you liked this video hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. And for the crazy guys out there you can even support the channel now by becoming a channel member. I'd really really appreciate that. Channel members also get exclusive benefits such as early access to all new videos. Also let me know if you would like to see more of these tutorial videos and don't forget to post your own suggestions in the comments down below. But that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.